Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very well. Great. Great. So, what's today? So, today, yesterday we discussed about what is mutual funds and everything, right? Correct. So, uh, I just wanted to understand which mutual fund should I invest in now? Since I know good, good things about mutual funds now. But which mutual fund should I invest in? So, you are convinced that mutual fund is a great vehicle through which you can yes, invest? absolutely. Now, you want to know how do I select a mutual fund and which mutual fund should I even select? Correct, correct. So, to answer these questions, I will go back little thing and I will start describing about what are the various types of mutual funds. Right. So, yesterday we just spoke about fund 1, fund 2. So, let us get into some basics about what are the various types of mutual funds. Alright? Right. Okay. Okay. So, let us get started. So, today is all about what are the various types of mutual funds. Primarily, there are three types of mutual funds. Number one, open ended, sorry, open ended, second, close ended, all right, and the third one is interval. Okay, I am going to talk about all three of them in some detail now. So, let us try and understand what is open ended. Now, it is a fund, correct? It is a fund. Now, when will the fund start delivering value? Or so let's just look at look at it this way. How does an investor invest into a fund? So investor, so there is an investor. Let's say today is a Thursday. Okay. Let's put today's date. So today is uh, 17th of October. Okay. Today, somebody invests into this fund. Okay. They invest into this fund. Tomorrow, there could be another guy investing into this fund. Day after tomorrow, there could be another person investing into this fund. Similarly, there could be multiple people continuously investing into this fund. Okay. There will be a time when this person or this person or this person decides to pull out the money. So, when you pull out the money, that is called redeem. Okay. This is called subscription. You subscribe and you redeem. When you invest, it is called subscription and when you, when you pull out the money, it is called redemption. If there is a fund where you decide when you want to invest and when you want to pull out the money, it is called open-ended. So, the fund is always open for subscription and redemption. So, there is no locking. It is not that you want to decide and you cannot invest or you want to pull out the money and you cannot pull out. So, that situation will never be happening. You will always invest on the day you want and you will redeem the day you want. Okay. So, those kind of funds are called open-ended funds. Clear? Perfect. Now, the second kind of fund is called close-ended. Now, what is a close-ended fund? Close ended fund has basics, very specific time periods when you can subscribe. Okay. And then there are very specific time periods where you can redeem. So it, these are closed. You, it, it's not that if you want to invest today, if it is not available for investment that time, it is, it is not available. Correct. So generally, these close ended funds have a very specific, maybe they have a two week period when they, when it is launched initially. So, when a fund is getting launched, that fund, that is the period we call NFO. We will have a very detailed video on new fund offer. It is called new fund offer when a new fund is launched. Okay. So, during an NFO period, it could be one week, two weeks or whatever, investors can subscribe to this fund. Okay. This is a close ended. They can subscribe into this fund. And then maybe, and then it will remain closed for a period. Maybe it could be one year, maybe it could be two years, maybe it could be three years, whatever be the period. And it will be always closed for that period, time period. At the end of one year, when it opens up once again, that is the time you will be able to withdraw your money. Okay, that is the time you will be withdraw. In fact, close ended funds, once the term period ends, that is the time the, the mutual fund will actually redeem for everybody in the investor. 
as an investor. It's not that you you have to come and redeem. The automatically everybody's money will be redeemed and paid out. Okay. You decide when you come in. You know the exact term period. When the term period ends, the mutual fund redeems everybody's units. Okay. Interval period is like has certain intervals. You come in, you you subscribe. Then it remains closed for some period. Then it opens for some more period. Then it remains closed. It opens for. So it opens at certain intervals of time. Those set of funds are called interval funds. Okay. So far good. So far good. Perfect. So as an investor, uh, when you are looking to invest, everybody invests for a purpose. Like we would like to grow our money. While we are looking to grow our money, we like to retain liquidity. What is liquidity? Liquidity means the money that I've invested. I would like the flexibility that I can take out the money anytime I need it. If if you are that kind of investor, then you would definitely go for an open-ended fund. Yes. If you specifically know that yes, I can invest for a period of definitely three years, and in this three-year period, I don't need to withdraw my money, then closed-ended funds are perfect. Mm -hmm. Interval funds are for those people who has alternating you know choices. You know, sometimes I would invest, then I it's fine for a few years, then again I want some liquidity that period, so interval funds. But open-ended funds are definitely a great, you know, very popular in India. Mm -hmm. People retain their liquidity. Okay. Perfect? Perfect. So far so good? Yes. Great. All right. So so in the next video, what we will do, Nachiket, we will get into details about the kind of funds which are offered under open-ended funds, right. kind of funds which are offered under closed-ended funds and so on. Great. If you are liking the series of videos created by OAVA, then we would welcome you to like, subscribe and share these videos. All the best and have a great investment journey.